So Nico, three points from a trip to Darcy Street. You must be pretty happy with that. Oh, we do it every year now, I think. We did it last year and now uh, done it again this year. Our boys like playing on this ground, yeah. Obviously South Hobart had scored 32 goals in the first month, so to keep them scoreless today is a pretty big achievement. Yeah, well, uh, you have a look at how the game panned out. I don't think they really had one clear-cut chance on goal. I can't remember it if they did. Um, so our, de our defensive work uh, was was pretty good today. So um, you know you can it's no good winning 10 0 one week and then coming out and losing one 0 the next. So they've been good, but uh, today we we got the better of them. What was the big difference from last week to this week in terms of your performance? Uh, our, our midfield probably did a lot better better role, uh, keeping uh, Morton and uh, Turner and Kemp in the midfield quiet. So. Uh, we sort of we sort of tightened that up, and um, the boys at the back did their job. Was the defence a big focus coming into the game? Uh, not not overly, no more than no more than usual. Um, we had to make a change because uh, Nathan Grattan came out, and so we brought Jack Dance in. And uh, Shaq's probably a, he's a big unit and a little bit slow, so it might have worked in our favour having Kieran and. Um, Joe next to each other today, so uh, they did a pretty good job. We did, we did have to work on it at training it was, because we had to change it today. So, yeah. Who were your better players today, did you think? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I love Joel Stone's game today. I don't know if Sav will agree with me, but, but I liked it. He had the ball on the string there a few times in the first half and had a few party tricks, and um, he obviously um, set up the goal for Braden, so uh, that's a pretty good game from him, I would have thought. But uh, again, it's a pretty big team performance to, to beat South, so. Have, a bit, have you uh, happier than after the Olympia win? No, no happier at all. He came, he came in and gave the boys a, another bollocking and uh, went out for his, took his walking stick and went out for a, a wander outside the gate somewhere. So uh, that's why I'm here again. I'm sure if he comes off in a good mood, he'll come over again and have a chat to you. But um, there are a few things he didn't like about today's, today's game and. Um, Probably a little bit about the self-belief of some of the players. A few players say, oh, Sav, I need to come off or I'm struggling. And then he, he just thinks, no, stuff them, let them, <laughs> let them go. So that's probably the, the make sure all the boys have got the belief that they can, you know, get wins and uh, finish higher on the table. Did you have a few stern words at halftime? Because you seemed to come flying out of the blocks in that second half. I think it was probably just a... He actually gave the exact same team talk as he did at the start of the game, to be honest. He had all his notes and he just read them all through again because they're the things that we needed to needed to work on. So it was just another refocus of what the job was and just make sure that those sort of rules and uh, you know non-negotiables that he has, that the players keep getting the message and came out and uh, got the job done. And Braden returning to score against his old team, fairly happy in the locker room, I imagine? Yeah, yeah, no, he... he Pumped the boys up a bit after Sav had uh, had his bit to say, but it was it was good to see him get on the score sheet. I know the the crowd were jeering him every time he lost the ball there in the second half, and so he shut them up pretty quickly when he when he put the ball in the back of the net. So it was uh, good to see him score against his and get the winner against his old club. Cheers, Nicker. Thanks. Well done, Mark. Cheers.